This is Global News. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us this Saturday. Thousands of people descended on downtown Kelowna with one clear message, inclusion. Pride Week reaching a milestone this year. Still acknowledging, though, there is a long way to go. Hey, happy Pride, everybody. Going a decade strong. Welcome to Kelowna, the city where you can be who you were born to be. The 10th annual Okanagan Pride Week culminating with one of the biggest celebrations to date. More than a thousand people taking part in this year's Okanagan Pride Parade. Thousands more joining the Pride Festival in Waterfront Park. I think it's an important thing to go to, whether it's a huge party or it's a protest. I'm part of the community and I just really love showing my support for the entire LGBTQ community. We are all about empowering and advocating for women and diversity. To all of you here who fought for our right to celebrate. A mass wedding, a true testament to the love here. And this year, also a special message from Ottawa. Happy 10th anniversary of being who you are meant to be. And that is from Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Canada's first federal LGBTQ2 advisor, leading the parade as Grand Marshal. To be here on behalf of the Prime Minister, uh, to see this much expression of diversity and, uh, you know, appreciation for and inclusion of the LGBTQ2 community is awesome. Given what's going on uh, around the world, um, you know, while others are building walls, we're building bridges here in Canada. And while the region's come a long way towards inclusivity and acceptance, there's admittedly still a long way to go. It's unfortunate we still need to have pride like we do, right? Like, you would hope by this point that we all are just equal. But as you're seeing around the world right now, that's not the case. We're not perfect. There's a lot of work that we still have to do in our own country. I mean, take a look here in Kelowna. 40 to 50 percent of homeless youth on the streets in the Okanagan are LGBTQ youth. And that statistic is the same across the country. Seniors that are going to try to get into senior facilities are finding they have to be recloseted because there's no space for them. To make our home one of love and understanding. But the push for equality, arguably, never stronger.